Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm David Furlan. In Los Angeles Saturday, over 500,000 people protested against immigration reform. Well, the news we've all been waiting for has finally happened in Long Island, New York. Long Island. Island. Giving birth to twins. Shamrock Peterson is here to tell us all the details. Have you ever wished that your car ran on hay and water? Well, there's a guy in Arlington, Texas, who has taken... Well, San Diego, it's official. We are number one. We have the highest gas prices in the nation, and it doesn't look like it's going to let up anytime soon. And the Miracle Miner is going home. Randy McCloy, the only survivor of the West Virginia mining tragedy, is heading home after being hospitalized. Including me. A job well done. David Frohn reporting for News Scene. The federally registered National War Memorial has been part of San Diego history for over 50 years. And guess who's talking about a possible bowl bid? That's right, folks. My alma mater, the San Diego State Aztecs football team. And help is on the way for San Diego County firefighters with a new addition to the team. It's that time to reset your clocks. Do you remember that? It's yes, Sunday definitely. nights. Oh, don't wait till you don't have to do it now. Okay. <laughs> wait till Sunday, Sunday night. You know what? Put it ahead because otherwise you'll be an hour late for work and then you might get fired, so you won't want to do that. And I always I always get confused with that. It's spring forward. Spring ahead fall back. and fall back. Yeah. But I gotta wait till Sunday. Wait till Sunday. Okay. <laughs> don't get too empty. Not quite yet. Okay. Now home price in San Diego have fallen before. That's nothing new. But this time it's different. From peak to trough, we are on pace to record the worst losses ever. And guess who's back in the news with rumors of a pregnancy? I'm David Frohn with your weather forecast. We're going to let you know why this is the shortest weekend of the year coming up next. And it was a big hit for the U.S. Navy on Wednesday night. The USS Lake Erie showed that it had the right stuff. And the stars have aligned. The stage is set, and it is Final Four weekend. For the first time ever, all regional number ones are going to the Final Four. And the San Diego Zoo's Baby Panda finally got a name this week. Thousands of people from around the world took place in an online vote. And the winning name for the Baby Panda is Jin Jin. Well, what made a man walk 3,000 miles? We'll tell you coming up next. Some moms are willing to go all out for their little ones. Designer brand clothes are popping up in exclusive boutiques. And Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger boosted the hopes of the fire victims, the volunteers, and the firefighters during last Sunday's Charger game. The governor was given the honor of tossing the coin toss before the game while he was wearing a blue and yellow Chargers jacket. After he praised the firefighters, the National Guard, and local police, Schwarzenegger recognized the first responders. And things are slowly turning to normal after weeks of turmoil in Pakistan. Hervez Musharraf was sworn in yesterday as president of the South Asian country, one day after resigning his post as head of the military. Musharraf was re-elected as Pakistan's president in October. He had pledged not to serve as both president and chief of the army. Musharraf also stated that he would lift the emergency rule in Pakistan that he imposed on November 3rd. Musharraf was praised by world leaders for dropping the military post and for pledging to lift the state of emergency before the January elections. A report by Standard & Poor's ranked San Diego as the third worst performing housing market in the nation in year-over-year -year performance just behind Tampa and Miami and tied with Detroit. The report says that San Diego home prices have dropped almost 10% since this time last year. A drop of this level is unprecedented in San Diego, yet no surprise to the experts. We spoke with a 27-year veteran of the San Diego real estate market, Century 21 manager Craig Citron. So the, it's not like San Diego as, a, as an entity is, is coming down across the board. Some houses are going up, some houses are going down. There are certain areas where people who got in with these crazy loans, and make no mistake, they did and shouldn't have. And the number of homes available for sale have tripled in the last two years, thus putting further pressure on home prices. And with foreclosures on the rise, experts believe it's only going to get worse. Now, home prices in San Diego have fallen before. That's nothing new. But this time it's different. From peak to trough, we are on pace to record the worst losses ever. And the experts are trying to gauge what is the next move in the housing market. Interest rates are coming down after rising for three years, and unemployment is at historical lows. We're in a buyer's market. Everyone knows this. So when do you want to be a buyer? You couldn't beat buyers off with a stick in 2004 and 2005. Now buyers, you can't get them to buy. But on a bright note, with the falling home prices, San Diego's home affordability actually went up. Combined lower home prices and rising incomes, twice as many San Diegans can afford to buy a home here than could in 2004. A silver lining in an otherwise gloomy housing report. David Furlan reporting for News Scene. A recent nationwide survey compared gas prices from across the nation. We're number one. 
And after a dramatic 60 cent increase in the price of regular unleaded gas in the last month, San Diego's average price comes in at a whopping $3.33 a gallon. Or number one. And at $3.33 a gallon, that puts San Diego on top with the highest gas prices in the nation. We're number one. Well, San Diego, it's official. We are number one. We have the highest gas prices in the nation, and it doesn't look like it's going to let up anytime soon. The results are according to Trilby Lundberg, who publishes a survey of 7,000 gas stations in the country. San Diego has always been near the top of the list, but at these levels, consumers are really feeling the pinch. Wow, it's a proud honor that we hold, isn't it? Especially with this car, you know, that's, that's kind of nice to have a uh, SUV. I'm thinking about selling this for sure, uh -huh. or buying a bike. I don't, I don't think I can afford it much longer. Well, and at the other end of the spectrum, the lowest average price in the country for regular unleaded was in Boise, Idaho at two fifty nine a gallon. But this isn't Boise. It's really unfortunate for the people that live way out in the east part of the county. I mean, that's really who my heart goes out to in all of this. Fortunate for me, I'm downtown and I live, you know, where I work. And experts predict it will only get worse with the peak driving season approaching this summer and worldwide demand on the rise. This is David Furlong reporting for News Scene.